Hello again, my most amazing artists. Today, we are going to be learning a little bit about how to use watercolor paints in our classroom. And we'll learn a little bit about a technique called watercolor resist. You can use wax crayons or you can use oil pastels for your resist. And they both work pretty well. Then we're going to talk a little bit about how to clean up and put away our supplies properly so that we can continue to paint in the art classroom. So if we do all those things correctly, we should have a lot of fun. Now, last week, we, we had spent some time creating our Jean-Michel Basquiat-inspired works of art. This week, we're going to come back and paint gently over our oil pastels. So last class, we spent some time creating some very abstract lines, shapes, and colors, both within and out of our dinosaur. We talked about how Basquiat had a really free style, and he used some loose lines and created lots of different textures and shapes on his paper and lots of different layers. So don't be afraid to let those lines travel across your paper. And if you haven't finished this yet, you'll finish that up first. You never ever want to draw with your oil pastels or any material after your paper is wet with paint. So after we're done with this, we can set these aside and we're going to pick up our paintbrush. Now let's talk about this tool right here. When we are using our paintbrush, we have the handle, the ferrule, and the bristles for the hair. And when we use these, we want to be very careful because the bristles are very, very fragile and they break pretty easily. So <clears throat> our brush stands like a ballerina on her tippy toes. She never scoots around on her booty because nobody wants to go to the booty scoot ballet. That's a very bad hair day, and it's really bad for your brush. When you do this to your brush, you can cause all the hair to break and fall out. You can't paint with a bald brush, so take care of your brush. Be gentle with it. You want to make sure that it's standing upright and you paint gently back and forth. Don't lay it on its side like this and scrub. No booty scooting, right? So then... Let's talk about this. We're going to get the color that we want, and we're going to paint over a section. And when we do this, the resist is the fact that the oil pastels on our paper are not going to allow any mixing to happen. So when you add paint right on top, it's just going to go over your oil pastels and roll off because oil and water don't mix. They can't bond together. They're not friends. So when we add our paint on, it's going to roll right off of our oil pastels. Now this works with crayons too if you push hard enough. Now I would love to use a new color besides blue, but uh -oh, I need to do something first. Can you think of what I have to do first? Can I just go into the red? We have to rinse our brush first. So when we rinse our brush, we want to watch carefully how this works, okay? I want you to repeat after me. Dip. If it drips, wipe it on the lip. Drag an X on the sponge. One more time. We go dip, dip. If it drips, wipe it on the lip. Not these lips. Drag an X on the sponge, okay? And that will clean our brush off. If we don't tap gently on the bottom, you can see how the bristles kind of spread out. If we don't do this, the paint cannot escape and it will stay in the brush, okay? So now that my brush is rinsed, I can get a different color. Maybe I wanna use this green. When I dip into these colors, I want to be very careful not to spread or splash. When I dip, I only need to touch just a little bit into it. I just need to tip the very tip of my brush in there. Not much at all. Okay, and some yellow. 
just the tip of my brush. I don't need to go in there or swirl around. Just like I don't need to do that in the water because if I went like this and swish and swirled, I'd splash water everywhere. I'd sling water all over my friends. That's why we dip, wipe, drag an X. Okay, same thing with these. We can carefully on the edge of our cup, wipe along the lip. I think this is looking pretty good so far. I want to fill the entire paper. Again, being careful, gentle on your brush. No booty scooting. You can paint anywhere you would like on your paper. I might go for a little bit more blue in this area. Why not do a little bit more red? down here and over here. Pretty, I like that. Again, I'm gonna rinse my brush and set it out. Now, once this painting is finished, we have a couple things that we have to do and we'll talk about that in just a second where we put our paintings when we're finished. But after our paintings are on the drying rack, we are allowed to get one more piece of paper, only one. I'm going to set this aside for a second. I'll show you where that goes. Okay. Um, and again, your dinosaurs can look however you want. You can paint the background however you would like to. Right. These examples are up here on the board. Take a look at them before you get started. Okay, once the dinosaur is finished, I can continue to use oil pastels or crayons to do something known as the watercolor resist. So you can draw a picture of anything. Here, I've made a landscape. Here, I made a heart design. Okay, so you can really do anything that you would like. Here, I'm just going to try some lines, but I want to show you my favorite part of resist. Yes, I can use these other colors that are here. And maybe I draw different types of lines. And that will work just like it did on our dinosaur. But my favorite color to use is white. Okay? Because it won't show up until the end, and it will show up as a surprise. Okay, I think I'm happy with what this looks like. I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and paint over it, okay? So let's see what that looks like. I'm gonna use my blue here. This is my favorite part. Again, that oil pastel, oil and water don't mix. So watercolors are going to roll right off of your oil pastels. And again, you can use different colors. I want you to spend a little bit more time on your drawing so that you don't finish early and have nothing to do. So take your time with your drawing before you paint it. Painting will go very quickly. I want to come back I can add some other colors in here and make some other colors and here I have my second painting finished now I need to make sure that my brush is rinsed and put away and that I don't have any giant spills on my paper we've got to put our oil pastels away so at the end We'll learn a little bit about cleanup, but we need to see first where our picture needs to go when it's wet. Okay, we are now at the drying rack. When you are finished with your work, this is where you're going to bring your picture. 
notice that we can fit four, that's right, four pictures on each rack, okay? And you want to get help. You never, ever come over here and push on this. It's very expensive and you could break it. So always ask for help getting a new one down, okay? When we carry our painting, we always want to carry it flat, like a cafeteria tray. If I were to turn it like this, all this water could drip down into the floor and muddy my painting. I always want to carry it flat with two hands, four on a rack. So we'll leave our work on the drying rack until it is fully dry next week. We always want to make sure we don't accidentally set our work on top of somebody else's because this could ruin both of our paintings. You are going to carry your bowl to the window and you're going to carry just one person. Don't fight over it, okay? We're going to carry our bowl over to the window slowly. We don't want to walk faster, it'll spill. We can walk, we can reach out the window, dump out the water. Then, our sponge is probably pretty wet too, so I'll reach and squeeze it out. Now, we can put it back. Okay, over here, when I get finished with all of that, I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to walk it carefully, being sure not to drip over here, and I will make a line. One person at a time will put their brush in the rinse bucket. You can hear that water in there swishing around. I rinse it really well. Tap gently. And then you always go bristles up in the cup, hair in the air. Okay? With every brush. So then the second person will come. Just like that. And lastly, on this table, you have other supplies that you might need. You can find oil pastels over here. You can find paper towels. Only one paper towel per table if you are cleaning up one, okay? Unless there's a spill. And over here, you'll find paper in case you want to make your second painting. Remember, you make your dinosaur and you're allowed to make one other painting using your resist. All that being said, happy painting and I hope you have a lot of fun.